Good day and peace to all. Welcome to the seventh Moving Up exercises of Our Lady of Peace School for the academic year 2021-2022. I am Ms. Menchi Arzaldivar, delighted to be of service as your host for this event. Today, we celebrate the accomplishments and academic achievements of our students. Therefore, as mentioned, courtesy, attention, and decorum are important and expected. Now, let us all start this program with an opening prayer to be followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Please all stand. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Bayang maghihiw, presos siyamanan, parang ng puso sa itibuy buhay. Lupang hinirang, tuwi ka ng magiging Sa manlulupi, di ka pasisin Sa dagat at kundok, sa sibuy at sa langit mong bukal May hinagang tula at amit sa paglaya minamahal Ang kisap ng wataw at may tagong ay na nagbinigning Ang bituin at araw niya kailang pang may di magdidinig Lupa ng araw ng wal, hatik pagsinta Buhay ay langit sa piling mo Sa piling mo ang inigaya ng pang may mga We remember that we are always in the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Loving Father, we thank you for all the blessings that we receive every day. Thank you for the gift of friends and classmates. Thank you for our hardworking parents, and thank you for our loving teachers. As we continue our journey, we humbly ask you to guide us, to be with us always, most especially for our dear young students. Continue to give them inspiration that they may be more eager to learn and to discover the mysteries of this world and to appreciate the beauty of the life they have. Give them strength to surpass the little struggles that will come their way. Also, we pray for our beloved parents, guardians, and teachers. Continue to bestow them good health in mind and body, strength to fulfill their responsibilities, and most of all, a deeper sense of faith, hope, and love that they may also surpass the everyday challenges of life and become good inspirations for our students. We offer everything to you, dear Lord, our accomplishments, our humble achievements, all our success. And we entrust all our setbacks, mistakes, and failures. All this we ask in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage, pray for us. Saint Paul, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are all gathered today to celebrate and recognize the students who will now be gaining the fruit of their hard work. To officially confer and give her message to our dear completers, let us all welcome with a resounding round of applause our supportive school head and principal, Sister Annabel de la Cruz, SPC. A blessed and a happy moving up day. This occasion is so special for our grade 10 students because they will be honored as grade 10 completers who have finished 
their academic and extracurricular activities in the junior high school and officially step up to the next level from junior high school to senior high school. They will only graduate after finishing their two years of studies in the senior high school come school year 23 and 2024 and graduate here in OLPS. Today, I am pleased to be able to say a few remarks and share some of my thinking with you on this, your last day in school. As we prepare to move you up to the middle school or junior high school here in OLPS, it is natural to think a little bit about your experiences in the elementary school. You have worked hard and accomplished much in your time here. After you finish your elementary education, you are now ready to step up to the next level, which is the junior high school. In your early years, you have become proficient in math, learned how to think like scientists, and have become acquainted with many of the world's regions, customs, and history in your social studies lessons. You were engaged to do research projects, created beautiful pieces of art, performed musically, and learned much about physical fitness and wellness. Most importantly, I think you have learned what it means to be responsible and respectful people, good citizens of the country and your community. No matter what subjects your teachers taught you over the years, they were most concerned about helping each one of you to become the best person you could be. A lot of opportunities to learning were given you by your wonderful teachers that helped you learn to be engaged, collaborative, analytic, creative, and smart students. Our job here is done. We've taught you all that we have the time and the days to teach you, and for most part, you have learned our lessons well. Before we let you go to the next level, I hope you will allow me this one last opportunity to give you some advice to take with you to the middle school. Number one, pray. Always be joyful. Pray continually and give thanks whatever happens. That is what God wants for you in Christ Jesus. From the letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Always start your day and begin with gratitude to the Lord. In other words, start telling God what you're thankful for. Prayer doesn't have to be only asking and asking for more. But it can also be a simply thanking the Lord from your heart for what He has already done. But prayer is simple, a conversation. You're talking with a friend. In prayer, we can connect with the Lord and ask him to guide you in all you do for the day because what you do today can improve all your tomorrows. Jeremiah the prophet said, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and future. A way to know that you are following God's plan for your life is by being in prayer. Take time each day to pray, devote yourself to the Lord and the plans He has for your life. If you are giving each area of your life to God, then He will bless it and be able to work through it abundantly. They said when you do things and you want to... to excel in one scale, you have to practice more so that you will be better one day. In everything you do, whether it is singing, playing instruments, uh, the more you practice, the more times you perform, the better you get. The same goes through in writing, for example, doing your assignments. Let's say meaningless will help you in the long run because you will gain more experiences. 
Making a commitment to practice is very important or essential to maximize the impact of training. After all, practice is the only way to become proficient in the new skill or behavior. N number two is obedience. Listen to the advice and accept instruction so you might grow wise in the future. Many plans are in, the, in a person's mind, but the Lord's purpose will succeed. From Proverbs 19, verses 20 to 21. What happens when you walk with God? Walking with God means making things possible. We are here to spread God's love and lie to others and spread the good news that He is our Savior. When we walk with God, it may not make things easy, but it makes them very, very possible. Walking with the Lord gives us an assurance of His presence and power in our lives. Take good counsel and accept correction. That's the way to live wisely and well. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. From Proverbs 3, verses 5 to 6. Remember, God is an all-knowing, all-seeing God, and He knows what is best for us. It's all about His will for our lives. So, don't forget that even when difficult times happen, those events are still all for our good and God's glory. The good news here is, even when it seems like we can't go another day against our struggles, God will grant us renewed strength to keep pushing on. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. From Isaiah 40, verse 29. The Lord gives strength to those who are tired. He gives more power to those who are weak. Even the boys and girls become tired and need to rest. Even young men trip and fall. But the people who trust in the Lord will become strong again. They will be able to rise up as an eagle in the sky. They will run without needing rest. They will walk without becoming weary and tired. Philippians, whose letter of St. Paul, he said, I can do all things through Christ, who is strength, my strength. So, we depend on God. It is important to rely on God's strength, even where others are ready to help you during difficult times. You are being encouraged to focusing to the ability to accomplish things because Jesus gives us the strength to do so. A person can accomplish anything he has focused his mind on because God will give him the supernatural ability to do so. So, dear students, imagine with all your mind, believe with all your heart, and you're able to achieve with, an, with all your might. So for those who are struggling, it's a reminder, an encouragement, that though life may be tough, God is with you. So God is our strength in whatever difficulties we experience. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forever, from Psalm 121, verses 7 to 8. God is watching over your life so that you will not be harmed. All you have to do is... Allow God to use whatever it takes to keep you from being harmed. The real harm you must be concerned is with harming your soul with sin. That is the only harm that can damage you from all eternity. So everything else is just a temporary training ground. So God is always with us to take care and keep us safe and sound. Next, believe in yourself. Don't give up. Don't quit. 
Now, when you have done with everything you can do, that's when God will step in and do what you cannot do. So God is your refuge and strength. Now, always remember this. There is no limit to what you can do if you keep believing in yourself. It took a lot of hard work to reach this goal, to reach grade 10. We have gone, we have gone with all those difficulties and tribulations. So you had to show up every day, whether you like it or not. I hope you feel great about what you're, you have accomplished. And I hope you'll continue to be a person who shows up day in and day out for those things that are worthwhile and important in life. May you always dare to do great things in your life. Keep on growing. Keep adding to the goodness and beauty of the world. Keep developing those unique dreams and talents that make you who you are. Take courage. You are being challenged to be lifelong learners. And that's my advice for you as completers. Whatever you do, never stop learning, exploring, growing, and challenging yourself to be your best. Moving up ceremony is like a bridge to the next part of your life. And everything that got you here, your hard work, your drive for work, and confidence, is going to carry you across the future you deserve. You want to be excellent? You want to fulfill all your dreams? Then, be courageous enough to face what is tomorrow. Uh, these are reminders. On October 3, 2022, it is the opening of classes for school year 2022 and 2023. A new school year and you will be in the senior high school level. Congratulations to all of you. This is another challenging year which would offer you to be more engaged and collaborative as you embark in your enhanced curriculum for the senior high school level. I would like also to congratulate on and commend your parents for their active involvement in the school activities more especially becoming our learning partners in the online instruction that happened for almost three years. I thank you for your availability and generosity in offering your time and effort just to be with your children while they were learning online. This collaboration between you and the school has established a friendly relationship among the parents and teachers and that will contribute to promote the future success and development of our children. We truly pride ourselves on the fact that parents' involvement is an integral part of our culture. It is a meaningful part of who you are, and not only do the children take notice, but strengthens our community in a truly meaningful way. The teachers are very grateful having you as our learning partners in the formation of your children to become holistic learners. Thank you to OLPS for offering a curriculum that provides wholesome education and prepare them for lifelong learning. We want all our students to achieve their full potentials. Our task is to make it possible and our mission is to provide the platform for the same learning. Success and success for all students is ensured at our school by the delivery of an enriching, child-centered, balanced and structured curriculum and a whole school focus on student welfare that focuses on the positive recognition of student achievements. Teachers work to provide students with differentiated support that address each student's specific needs, both academically and socially. We firmly believe that the parents are their child's first and foremost important teacher. Parents play a vital role in the education of their children. We happily welcome again for this coming school year 
2022 and 2023 all our parents to take an active role in the education of their children and to be the active participants in our school life. On August 3, 2022, Wednesday, school year 2022 will start. This school year will be very significant and memorable because OLPS will be celebrating its 50th founding anniversary on October 2023. It will be a meaningful and joyful celebration, especially with you as members of the Olshan Polinian family. OLPS will go high flex learning for the school year, starting with the senior high school, grades 11 and 12. They will attend classes in school for two or three days in a week, and the rest of the days will be done at home. When you come to school on that day, first day of classes, everybody is expected to follow safety protocols at the entrance gate you will be instructed what to do until you reach your classroom follow the signages posted around one important thing that you have to present at the entrance gate is your vaccination id as proof that you are fully vaccinated as much as possible we are expecting all senior high school students to come for the face-to-face -face classes this school year. However, for those who are not allowed by parents for some other reasons, we will consider it provided the students will attend same classes with their classmates on site at the same time with their teacher. For the lower grade levels later, maybe they also follow one at a time. At the moment, OLPS is preparing the school for the face-to-face -face classes. Classrooms are equipped with facilities to support both on-site and online classes simultaneously. The following is a tentative calendar of activities for the school year 2022 and 23. May 28, grade schools, 47 commencement exercises. May 31, preschool moving up ceremony then grade 12 distribution of cards, junior high school moving up ceremony, and then the last day of school for all. Then June and July are summer vacation, are summer months, so that some of the employees will go for their summer vacation, especially the teachers. And then June 6 to 22, enrollment begins from preschool to grade 12. And then opening of classes, August 3. And there will also be this Hubuk program that will continue, enhancing the skills of our students, especially in areas of uh, music, painting, and languages, basketball, sports. And also we will also offer academic enhancement for, for reading and math. And finally, before I will end, I pray that God will fill your heart with dreams and that faith gives you the courage to dare, to do great things. And I pray too for God's power to guide you, His mind to uphold you, His eyes to watch over you, His wisdom to teach you. Amen. Dear grade 10 completers, congratulations and good luck. Thank you very much. God bless you. Sister Annabel de la Cruz, SPC. Your words will surely guide our completers as they tread a new path in their lives. May your messages motivate them to strive harder. 
This school year is indeed a challenging one for all of us, especially for our students. They may experience difficulties in remote learning setup, but they still strive and work harder towards achieving the sweetest fruit of their success, awards. And now, they will surely make us proud, especially their families. So without any further ado, let us now proceed with the presentation of completers and the awarding of medals and certificates. To present the completers, here are the grades and advisors. Ms. Carmina Tagoy, St. Augustine. Ms. Gracial Andaya, St. Bonaventure. Ms. Cecil Conde, St. Catherine of Siena. Ms. Norlene Cabrera, St. Jerome. Mrs. Risa Makagaling, St. John the 23rd. Ms. Chinky Bartolome, St. John Paul the 2nd. Mr. John Paul Cabique, St. Therese of Lishu. Good day and peace to all. I am Ms. Maria Carmina Tagoy, and it is my honor to present to you the completers from Grade 10, St. Augustine. Gavin Andre M. Sereneo. Jan Nicolai B. Echevarria with high honors. Campus Journalism Award, Gold. Reynolf Allen A. Fernandez Henrich P. Gray Joshua Philip B. Gumabon with honors Andrew Benedict C. Hindang with honors Francis Lois M. Liego Mark David M. Luterte with honors. Frank Russell S. Manyalak with honors. Armand Damien B. Maramba with honors. Christian Gabriel E. Maricaban. Thor Bryce R. Miranda Mark Nazareth Q. Moratilio Carlo Dominic P. Paner Patrick Albert A. Ridor Chad Stephen A. Tan with honors Rafael E. Vector Andrew Gabriel B. Sapico with honors Anisha Dominic Agkawili Sia Margaret L. Bravo with honors Aliana Faith R. Casas with high honors. Ashley Nicole A. Kauman with honors. Louisa Jen C. Coloma with high honors Campus Leadership Award Certificate. Mary Celine G. Damaso with honors. Renee Elise M. Del Monte with high honors. Kyle Cariz G. Geronimo with honors. Denise Nicole Margaret D. Hernandez. Elisha Lynn M. Hippolito 
with others. Rose Antoinette P. Leble Altea Danielle B. Marinas with high others. Angeline M. M. Masusi Beatrice Joy G. Napo with high honors, Outstanding Award in ICT, Campus Leadership Award Certificate. Reina Marie F. Santos with honors. Francine Nicole M. Soriano with honors, Campus Leadership Award Certificate. Selena Alessandra Rain Q. Ube with high honors, Campus Journalism Award Gold. And Sevgi Esperanza P. Uluhan. Thank you and congratulations. Good day and peace to all. I am Miss Gracial Arendaya, and it is my honor to present to you the completers from Great Dan St. Bonaventure. Lyron Ethan M. Agustin. Janero G. Alcantara. With honors. Jacob Dylan S. Bumatay with honors Claude Benedict R. Kagingin Gian Aldrich C. Castillo Brent Marcos G. De Juan Jude Mike P. De La Cruz Asli Kyle D. Encarnacion Slevin F. Garganera Marcus Angelo A. Malihan with honors Juan Miguel M. Marin Josh Stanley R. Obrero Mikhail V. Rindawa with honors. Alfred Jacob N. Sablaya. Rainier E. Sakdal with honors. Hamlet B. Salde. Joshua C. Salero. Rob Austin L. Vera with high honors. Mapsa Bible Quizby, third place. Earl John P. Zeta with honors. Patricia Ian M. Aviles with honors. Zarina G. Buenaflor. Elisha Ann P. Kagiyat with honors. Ann Bianca O. Cambronero with honors. Leona Mardi A. Datuin. Brianna Eliza P. De La Pena with honors. Maxine F. Elento with honors. Princess Loris and Francisco with honors. Marjolie Claire A. Garcia with honors. Jana Maxine S. Haushan with honors. Saina Francesca S. Lincoln with honors. 
Princess Marithea G. Magno with high honors, Campus Leadership Award Certificate. Zareen Hershey R. Naral. Jezza Rog B. Natividad with honors. Janelle C. Olager with honors. Maria Antoinette T. Carrijero and Ellen Margaret B. Yusai with honors. Thank you and congratulations. Good day and peace to all. I am Ms. Cecil Conde, and it is my honor to present to you the completers from Great Ten St. Catherine of Siena. Francis L. Avendano. John Francis A. Belaong. Kervin Ian J. Baltazar Joseph Christian M. Cuabo Kairos Romino M. De Leon with honors Charles Gabriel M. Jordan Justin Ray R. Esta Christoph Lance R. Flores Julian Ludwig A. Gawira Kurt Daniel N. Limkiako Francis Aaron I. Mararak with honors Julius Miguel S. Mendizabal with honors Saul Miguel C. Nava with honors Lex Feluis G. Padilla with high honors, Campus Journalism Award Gold, CHI National Biology Olympiad Certificate. Mark Leo A. Pascugin, Ralph M. J. B. Rebanal with honors, Sebastian Fletcher R. Rojas. Rolando C. Zagala Jr. with honors. Juliana Grace G. Bakalan with high honors. Kim Natalie Borja with honors. Natalie K. T. Buday with honors. Venice Angel M. Kalimbo with honors. Princess Beatrice D. Diaz. Gian Lexin S. Francisco with honors. Alyssa Marie C. Lagatic with honors. Isa Kathleen V. La Laguna with honors. Angel Kimberly G. Lim Josh Aislin F. Masiklat Mary Audrey C. Mello with high honors, Campus Journalism Award Bronze Jamie Nicole T. Pagdanganan with honors, Campus Journalism Award Bronze Princess Jasmine B. Peñaroyo with honors. Michael Angela R. Kilingan with honors. Justin Leigh B. Sablaya. Elizabeth Nancy G. Valle with honors. And Diana Amanda C. Zubiri.
thank you and congratulations. Good day and peace to all. I am Ms. Narlene F. Cabrera, and it's my honor to present to you the completers from Grade 10 St. Jerome. Michelle Cedric C. Agbin Peter Raleigh S. Alarcon with honors Limuel Andrew S. Aquino Marco Luis P. Bartolo with honors Luis Santino D. Eight P. Biel Nicolo Levy O. Caceres Vince Michael T. Calle with high honors Campus Journalism Award Broads Matalino Battle of Wizard 2022 Gold Wade Gabriel E. Dandoy Johan Adriel B. Daluna Paulo Jan Miguel D. Makatangay Sean Gabriel S. Oca Rodolfo Hans P. Panuelos William Kyle F. Pascasio Matthew Carl A. Rebellion Jan Manuel P. San Gaspar Cian Lee B. Santiago with honors. Matthew Benedict B. Valdez with honors. Ashtin Don S. Espina. Francine S. Gabuyo. Denise Moriel S. Garcia with honors. Maria Isabel C. Guadines Januari Stacy R. Lunay Chrysaline Bless M. Manuel with honors Emil Hannah C. Marcelo with honors Sofia Angeline R. Martinez with honors Guiana Alexa R. Paliso Alea May C. Peñano Alisa Bianca S. Salvador with High Honors Campus Leadership Award Certificate Sofia Hayasin E. Sambile with Honors Alia O. Sevilla Anika Yana R. Suwansin Rafaela B. Tan Christine May C. Tenedero Vinya A. Tesaluna and Dion S. Victorino with high honors Thank you and congratulations! Good day and peace to all. I am Ms. Risa V. Makagaling, and it is my honor to present to you the completers from Grade 10 St. John 23rd. John Lyndon D. Bonzo. Justine Cedric G. De Leon, with high honors, Campus Journalism Award, Bronze, Campus Leadership Award Certificate Ernel A. Filipinas, Jr. Kenji V. Lopez Christian Zam Z. Madurse, with honors 
Charles Martin A. Manalang Marco Gabriel D. Marinas Justin Gabriel L. Mendoza Eric Charles B. Ona Jr. with honors Godwin Q. Pastor Rafael Patrick S. Revilla Julius Christian S. Rivero with honors Glenn Nicole G. Ruales with honors Jose Gabriel H. Sabater with honors Kyle Gabriel J. Tadeo Adam Timothy A. Terry Jaspier Dane B. Ungab Julia Marie M. Angeles with honors Maria Michaela P. Angustia with high honors Karina Jessie C. Dabila with honors Patricia May C. Diaz Isol Viel L. Gacelos with honors Fatima Iris P. Lopez with honors Mary Hazel Ann M. Laura Angelina Nova M. Malala Alitea Sofia A. Mercado with honors Jeril Milis N. Miranda with honors Atea Micaela Tyra with honors Altea Hyacinth Q. Ponesto with high honors Campus Journalism Award Gold Alison Elaine S.J. Rabehe with honors Shekinah May V. Reyes with honors Maureen E. Santos with honors Gwyneth Mary F. Cebu Angel D. Sulit and Nicole A. Tabulok with honors Thank you and congratulations Good day and peace to all I am Miss Chinky Bartolome and it is my honor to present to you the completers from Grade 10 St. John Paul II. Matthew B. Caldetera John Christian M. Callios with honors Angelo Rafael E. Campos with honors Cray Justine C. Cauriz John Lloyd P. De La Cruz Brian Carlo M. De La Rea Amrel Noor P. Gert 
Clive Henry Artorius King C. Jubak with honors. John Christian D. Laxi with high honors, Campus Journalism Award Gold. Kenshin Carl C. Malay. Juan Florentino Maramag with High Honors, Campus Leadership Award Certificate. Jerome Carlo G. Paclem with Honors. Michael Ethan T. Pasana. Rom Rain D. Ramilo. Ralph James D. Sahise Seth B. Sasuman with honors Joseph Christian M. Obalde Andrea Loreen C. Acido with honors Ariana Kate A. Acedo Ashley Kyle Nina T. Cabigao with high honors Maria Julia Angela U. Kamanga Nisereline A. Karumba with high honors Azariah Ann S. Casbadillo Cheska Janea C. Corpus with honors Shaleen Frances Kuasai with honors Renee Margaret R. Diaz with high honors Eliza Ashley D. Engrasha with honors. Katrine Roselle S. Gimau with high honors. Ron Arabella E. Mangulabnan. Shaina Isabel C. Orbeta with high honors. Alisa Beatrice D. Paz with high honors. Helene Fiona D. Robleza. Juliana Adrian Sara O. Samson. Chantel Jade S. Psycho with honors. Elena C. Singa and Kelly Fiona B. Zapanta Thank you and congratulations! Good day and peace to all! I am Mr. John Paul L. Cabique and it is my honor to present to you the completers from Grade 10, St. Therese of Lisieux. Adrienne Joel S. Alojado. Sandro N. Bacoro. Hans Christian C. Carson. Kyle Roger M. Coronel with honors. Prencel James P. Desus with honors. Rafael S. De Los Santos. Jesner Dominic L. Elma with honors. Samuel L. Gato. Addison M. Halanas Justin Michael Q. Hake with honors 
Gian Enzo G. Malela. Sat Nitan T. Monedero. Shan Mikael Nesperos. With honors. Carl Joshua T. Olaybar. Nico Luigi C. Roldan. With honors. Neil Alisher G. Rosani. With high honors. Campus Journalism Award, Silver. Casey Kit D. Billiard. Yeshua Emmanuel Z. Betriol with honors. Jamie F. Baldimoro with high honors. Maria Gwinnett A. Bolivar with high honors. Sophia Gabriel L. Bravo with honors. Abriel Fidel Luis C. Buenaventura with honors. Kimi Lay C. Cortez with high honors. Justin Ann F. De Los Reyes with honors. Campus Journalism Award, Bronze. Silaril G. Diaz. Glycine and Estefani. Yasi Elin S. Estrada with honors. Sovereign Kate F. Fernandez with honors. Irish Michelle T. Prendon with high honors. Hannah Patricia S. Lincoln with honors. Kayla Erica A. Magdangan. Juliana Sophia O. Mananog with honors. Orlene Abigail L. Mendoza with honors. Aliana Bianca D. Paz with high honors. Tiffany Laleen C. Peña. Amelin Diam R. Perez. Angeline A. Pimentel. And Janelle B. Quesora with honors. Campus Journalism Award, Bronze. Thank you and congratulations. grades and advisors. Once again, congratulations to all the students and their parents. Let us give them a big hand. The Option Polinian family would like to acknowledge and thank the following for making this event possible. Most Reverend Francisco de Leon, D.D., Bishop of Antipolo and Alps Director. Father John Paul Benefe, School Chaplain. The SPC Sisters, headed by Sister Annabel de la Cruz, SPC. The OLPS Administrative and Academic Councils, Faculty, Staff, and Maintenance. OPS Media Team and the Option Times Creative. Our dear grade 10 advisors, parents, and grade 10 completers. And above all, our God Almighty.
May I now request the completers to please stand for the singing of the Altshan hymn. the seventh moving up exercises of Our Lady of Peace School for the academic year 2021-2022 adjourned. This has been your host, Ms. Menchi Arzaldivar, leaving with you this saying, little steps can lead to big achievements. Thank you very much and God bless us all. Caritas Christi, Orjatnos. <laughs>